Oh, yeah, here. Yeah, I like my green eggs and ham. Spooder webs. And push it. That goo looks cool, guys. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> guys, the time has come to now make our own Gujitsus. Woo! We got the new Gujitsus Marvel Squeeze Ball Creator. Take a look. Make your own squeeze balls. First you fill it, and then you squeeze it. That just sounds so complicated, man. And you can choose from the three different Marvel Avengers. You can choose Spidey, the Hulk, or Iron Man. And it says right there, squeeze ball creator. And that's just the front side. Of course, nothing on the top or sides, but let's take a look at the back. Now you can create your own unique Marvel squeeze balls with these new Marvel squeeze ball creator. With everything you need to make three custom squeeze balls, choose from Spider-Man, Hulk, or Iron Man. Simply mix the icons, fill with liquid of your choice, lock and squeeze, it's easy squeezy. Oh, they forgot the peasy. And then it says makes three squeeze balls, you make your own squeeze balls. And then over here you can see you can fill with DNA ribbons, spider webs, or electric bolts. And it says it's reusable. Why not choose your own fillings, not included, like slime, pom-poms, or sequins? Where am I gonna find those? man you got to go to the store and buy your own slime because apparently nothing else is in here but just the fillings not the actual filling of the squeezy because who wants to put a bunch of lightning bolts in one of the balls and just fill the lightning bolts without some extra gooey thing well let's get more info on the bottom here warning do not heat or microwave do not pierce do not leave a vehicle on a hot day caution product is a stress ball caution product is a stress ball it's a stress ball it's a stress ball not appropriate for children under the age of three adult supervision should be encouraged for young children if product ruptures and liquid contact skin wash with clean water do not eat or drink contents do not fill with perishable items like chocolate that would perish in my belly camera mom says pudding you're putting me on hon that'd be cool if it was edible they gotta make an edible gujitsu you know of course he wants all their gummy fingers all over squeezing it and then eating with you gotta wash your hands before you eat the, the gummy the goo gummy gujitsu jitsu gum gummy important excessive abuse or abrasion <laughs> don't abuse them <laughs> Nice to your squeezies. Excessive abuse or abrasion may lead to a loss of structural integrity. Discard a broken or ruptured squeeze ball immediately. Refer to instruction manual for disposing methods. Contents: three Marvel squeeze balls, ten webs, ten electric bolts, six DNA ribbons, one squeeze ball creator, one turnkey, one instruction manual. Huh? That doesn't say anything about like goo or snot or slime or anything. Does that mean we have to get our own? Warning: choking hazard. Not suitable for children under 36 months. Choking hazard. Small parts. Please remove all packaging attachments before giving this product to a child. Please use discretion if making purchases for children younger. Than the age recommended on this package. Product specifications, cooler. Why can't I say color, man? Why have they go cooler on me? And contents may vary from those illustrated. Important. Please retain packaging instructions and purchase details for future references. They contain important information. Let's get cracking. You can see that it's some sort of box thing. And boy, it's already ripped. It's not going to be hard to open up, but. We hope to get lucky with St. Patty's Day. Toy, 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 toy. So I got my Swiss Army knife, lucky clovers. <laughs> I don't see a four leaf on here anywhere. Well, we're still hoping for luck. So we got tape here. Let's just slice the tape. That makes it easier opening it up. Oh, look at that. Just like sliding right through everything. Whoa, look at that, guys. That's cool. So there's that thingy. And there's the thingy that goes with the thingy. Oh, look inside. You got like those lightning bolts and spider webs. Cool. And then you got the bottom of the gumball machine. And then you got your squeezies. Looks like they're already like filled with air. Mm, they're already squeezable. That looks fun. I don't know how we're going to fill it up when it's already filled. But hey, here's your instruction guide. There we open that up. There's the front side. And there's the back side. That's a lot of reading. First of all, it says know your Marvel squeeze ball creator. And there's the storage container, the funnel, the tap handle, the top stand, the bottom stand. And then it tells you how to put it all together. And then it goes over how to create a Marvel squeeze ball. And apparently you got a plug on these balls here that you're going to use a key to pull it out and then pour your goo into and then plug it up. And if you don't plug it up right, you squeeze that thing. Happy New Year! Flying everywhere. And then on the other side, um, it tells you what to do, how to clean things off. So if you put a lot of stuff in here that shouldn't go down the drain, it's says in here that to use a paper towel to put it down over the drain and then pour your contents onto the paper towel so the liquid goes through the paper towel but the more chunkier stuff like you know lightning bolts and other things that are in here will get caught on the paper towel and won't go down into the drain they don't have to call the rotor rooter dude and then they got the warning on the back here just so we can be extra precautious guys warning do not heat or microwave do not pierce do not leave
Demon Vehicle on a Hot Day. Yeah, we went over that, but there's some more warnings. Do not pierce Marvel Squeeze Ball. Do not apply heat directly to Marvel Squeeze Ball or any other accessories. Deco bits are a choking hazard. Do not place them into your mouth or nose. Dispose of broken or deflated Marvel Squeeze Balls immediately. Do not put any of the following into the Marvel Squeeze Balls. Object with sharp points or sharp edges, of course, when you squeeze it, it pops it. Any food, beverages, or perishable items, clean products, or chemicals, they'll just eat right through the ball, you know. Dropping the Squeeze Ball creator may cause damage and prevent its functions. If Marvel Squeeze Ball ruptures in liquid contact skin, wash with clean water, do not eat. Caution product is a stress ball. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our squeeze balls first. Iron Man. Oh, wow. That's that's like sticky. You can feel the stickiness of it. That is so sticky. Okay, so first of all, let me make sure I got them right side up. Okay, does that look like Iron Man? Kind of does. You know, you see his beady eyes. That, well, you don't see his eyes at all. He just got lines there. And on the bottom, there's the key. So you twist it and pull it out, and you got a hole and you fill it up and then twist it and lock it back on. But I'm telling you, it's very sticky. <coughs> Look at it. There. there you go. Does that work for you? <coughs> it's very sticky and it's very squeezy. So now we're just squeezing air. Boring. Air so free, man. I want something else. <laughs> so we're going to fill that one up. Let's get the others out too. And they're all so sticky too. Wow. Just getting out of the package is a fun challenge. Oh, look at the Hulk. <laughs> he looks more like a ham than the Hulk. I like my green eggs and ham. And then you can see his hair. <laughs> I'm seeing him for the first time really now. He's looking at me. It looks like he parts his hair just nice. At least that's not going cray cray and that's sticky. And just try their heads here, stick them together. Look at that. Mm, yeah, smells like rubber cement. There you go. So we got our two heads, better than one. Spooter man. I want to take a look. Let me see if I can identify his face. There you go. You got those big spootery eyes transforming you, telling you, my spider sense is tingling. Somebody's liking subscribing. Awesome. And he feels super sticky too. Well, those look really cool. And they're all very sticky. <coughs> you know, instead of tossing the ball around, you could toss the squeeze ball around. Here, camera mom. It's sticky. It's hard to get it off when you toss it. You're at the pitcher's mound. You get up. You're ready to do a fast one. You wing it at them, they hit it, and it just blows up everywhere. <laughs> or it just goes around the bat and just kind of lobs its way over. The pitcher's all covered in goo. Okay, let's set our heads off to the side here. We call us headhunters here. Let's go ahead and make our uh, squeeze ball creator. Okay, first of all, there's the base, so it says go ahead and set that up and then put this thingy on top of that thingy. Yes, we're getting technically accurate with thingies. And then snap it into place. Oh, and then we've got, oh, it's got a little sticker inside. Important, replace screw cap before removing squeeze ball from stand. So when you have a squeeze ball in here, you want to replace the screw cap because when you pull it out and you squeeze it, it's just going to shoot out and erupt and it's going to be a whole new volcanic experience in your living room. What? Do this in the kitchen. Get it all over the food. Contaminate it. That's better than contaminating the rug in the living room. So this thingy goes on top of this thingy. And you can see that you got open ends into the slots here. So you're going to put that in there, then twist it to lock it into place. So twist and lock. Good. And then here, how do we get these guys out? Oh! There's our DNA right there from the Hulk. That every government would love to have on you, your DNA. And then in, in here, you got your key. So let's just go ahead and cut them out. Look at that. Hey, there's flash lightning bolts and the spooter webs, and there should be 10 of each. Oh, they're very sticky too. Nice. And those will be fun to squeeze in our squeeze ball. Spooter webs. Oh, they feel nice and oh, just so squeezable and also very sticky too. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Nice, we got everything. And you'll see right here, it's got a fill line. So you want to fill whatever goop you want. And I say goop, but you want to be careful because you don't want it too thick. Otherwise, it may not slide down into here, right into your uh, stress ball, your squeeze ball. So make sure it's very, for the most part, viscous. So guys, the main function of creating your ball is going to be this piece of the gumball machine. And this top part, they say is a storage container. You can open it up and put things in there, but if you push it too hard it comes out so don't think you can pour liquid in here because you know it just attaches easily but what it says is when you're done for the storage container when you're done making your uh, squeeze balls is just to put it on top so it looks pretty you know like a gumball machine so okay storage not quite sure but let's go ahead and get going what i want to do is let's start with 
Iron Man. And so for Iron Man, we're gonna go ahead and put in lightning bolts. Okay, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna take the key and put it in the well, bottom of his head and turn to pull the plug out, keep turning. And look at that, his head deflates because all the air is now coming out, okay? Very squeezy. So there's the plug, you got all these threads on it. And so it will help keep the contents inside with enough threads, hopefully, if not. And use plumber's putty or like plumber's tape. Disclaimer. Adventure Fun Dad doesn't know what he's talking about. Let's just hope it works. You wanna take and put your lightning bolts in there. So once you put that inside, you still have this open, right? And then what you're gonna do is you can see on the side, you got two extensions. You wanna put that just right underneath the key here but you gotta slide it all the way back and push it until you hear it snaps and it goes all the way to the back because what happens when you turn the key, it opens the hole here and the water starts flowing whatever viscous liquid you have and it'll go right back and it'll start filling up the bottles. So for this, what are we gonna fill in? And we gotta fill it up the line here that now we wanna fill with. So for this, remember our symbiote venom? What was inside of him? I wanna use him, squeeze him. See all that black swirly stuff? That would make cool stuff inside of our Iron Man. Iron Man's got kind of a clear skin, so we might be able to see more of the swirls. Plus you can see we've been using him and stretching him and he's just about to break, you know? Over time, these things will wear out and they'll break. And to do this, oh man, this is gonna be a reveal, guys. What I'm gonna do is try to cut them open and I can either go in here and just let it fill up to the line and then just put them off to the side, which is what I think I'll do. But I wanna make sure that this is closed. So you see where I'm gonna turn it, the key? So now it's closed. Cause if I leave it open and I keep going, man, it's just not filling up and it's leaking all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna do it over this paper plate here. Doing it upright like this, little hole, just little hole. That's all I need, little hole. Whew. Okay, oh, there's black goo everywhere. Okay, now what I wanna do is I wanna <laughs> fill this up. Oh, maybe I should have put this over a paper plate. Okay, we gotta fill it to the line. Okay, is it filling up down below? Is it secure or is it already emptying into it? It's all coming down. Oh man, this isn't secure, guys. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this. The key does not work. <laughs> Do I have the key turned the wrong way? Let's turn it the other way. Huh, okay, that's holding. Okay, so I turned the key the other way and I turned it a little bit so it's not exactly lined up with the uh, arrow here. Okay, so that holds. Bring it over here. And then we're gonna take this and twist it and pull it off, okay? And then you got your corkscrew here. You're gonna put it on top. And you're gonna make sure you got it leveled because if you screw it at an angle and then you squeeze it, the first squeeze is always the dangerous one. If you can make it past the first squeeze and it doesn't go all over the place, goo for you. Maybe I could like strip the threads. Yeah, at Adventure Fun Labs, we take a lot of chances. Okay, I think I twisted it very tightly. Oh, wow. I just nervous, man. It's like, oh. I'll point it to you, camera mom. <laughs> That's cool. So far, it's not emptying out. And you can see the swirls. Let me see if I, oh, it's sticking to the glove. That's pretty cool, guys. That's our Iron Man. And you can see and count up his little uh, lightning bolts in there. And you know what? It seems like the skin here, when I squeeze it, like it's, I mean, because it's so clear, it seems like it's very thin, it's about to pop. So let me feel. Uh, feels like it's about as thick as a venom here. So I think we're good for at least another 50 squeezes before I start handing it off to the neighbors and they can play outside with it. Hey, look! Now let's do roundabouts. <laughs> <laughs> let's do caprings. <laughs> oh! Uh, well, it survived. <laughs> so there you go, one down, two more to go. Next one is gonna be our Hulk here. So he's got his DNA strands. Yeah, don't lose the key. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead, unscrew that. And then slide him in. There, that looks like it's locked in place. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, put our DNA strands in there. Look at that. Yeah, rainbowy. So you just have to somehow poke it in there, get it all in. Now we can go ahead and put the top on here, line it up and then twist it and turn it. Make sure that is not opened here. So turn the key so it's blocked. And then for our goo, we're gonna use Hulk here. I really wanna see the green squirrels in this one as well. And so remember our Hulk here, he's got the green squirrels, looks super cool. And I figured, hey, that'd look pretty cool with his uh, DNA strands, you know? So let's try that. Got the top here. Okay, I think I got it. We'll pour it in here, just a little bit, see if it empties. It's holding, okay, good. Now we're gonna fill it all the way up to the fill line. Look how cool that looks, guys. 
key. We got the fill line. So guys, I don't recommend you cut your gujitsus. Just use their filling to put them in here. I mean, plus you don't know what's in here. It could be toxic and anything. But hey, I want to do it because I think the original goose in this here looks really cool. And uh, maybe you guys can be creative and come up with something else, which we'll do in just a minute. All right, we're ready to turn the key. Watch it fill. Looks like it's leaking a little bit already. Where's the hole? There it is. Yeah, that went very fast. If you guys look at the top here from the goo, there's a lot of sediment. Cool, good enough. Let's go ahead and turn it and then get our corker. Yeah, don't pull it out, you squeeze it all over the place. Oh, give it a good twist, make sure it's on tight. He just looks so weird, especially with this haircut, but he feels goo. Let me give it a squeeze at the bottom to see if it leaks. That's the first thing I wanna make sure. Oh, look at that. That goo looks cool, guys. Ah, you can really see it, I think, more clearly than I could inside of his uh, thicker, darker, greener skin here. So this one, yeah, these heads seem a little bit thinner to me. So I can see more of the uh, toxic goo in there. And where's the DNA strands? Uh, look, guys, we got a contaminant, maybe a little TT fly in there. <laughs> <laughs> little dark spot there. <laughs> now we have to dump the goo out and put other goo in them, clean them out. Whew, okay, so far, nothing that has like exploded on us. Now for the last one, our Spooter Man. Let's go ahead and open him up, put him on, slide him in there, lock him into place. And then what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna use plain water, but... Wait a second, wait for it. Water beads! If you put these inside, it's a lot easier to pour in and then pour the water in and let them expand. I want to try this out. Oh, and I got to be careful. These things are so small. How, how much should I pour in here? A teaspoon could go a long way, Camera Wong says. Okay, what's a teaspoon? Just a little bit more. Almost. Stop. Let me see how much I poured in. I don't know, is that a lot, guys? Okay, we'll try that. <laughs> oh, you know what? We got to put our spooter webs in there, too. Put our little spooter webs in there. Oh. That's what's hard. We need something to poke them down into. Uh, we'll use the key. Get the speedwebs in there. Speedwebs and Orbeez. Who knew? I'm patting this moose. You can't copyright this. Speedwebs and Orbeez. Oh, man, how does Spider-Man ever swallow these things? There we go. Okay, now we just need some water. Uh, hey, we got our Treasure X coffins. Guys, be sure to watch that video. And then let's go up to the fill line. And you know what? Because we have so much gunk in there already, I don't know if we ought to go right to the fill line. <laughs> Maybe right there should be good. Then we'll see how it looks here. I don't know. Do you think we ought to use food coloring? <gasps> okay, we'll go ahead and try it. <laughs> Not that he already has red skin. I don't know if this is going to make a difference, but for effect, it might look cooler. How many? Four or five drops? We're going to make it really super red. Now, this one, we don't want food coloring scattered all over the floor here. So we want to make sure that our top goes on right. Okay, I think that's really tight. Now, how long is it gonna take for the Orbeez to start growing? Cause man, there's a lot of Orbeez in there. Yeah. Okay, the Orbeez aren't coming into play just yet. You can see the spider webs. The food coloring, I don't know if it'd make a difference, but it's hard to tell with the red skin on the outside. Sometime later, we come back and we find the Orbeez just aren't growing cause I think I poured too many in them. But you can see that they're nice and mushy. And because I think I have so many in them that each one's taking a little bit moisture into itself and it depletes all the others, deprives them of more moisture. So we're not getting the big Orby. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to unscrew it here. Hey, look at that. Maybe that's as big as they're going to get. Gosh, that's a lot of Orbeez. <laughs> Camera mom said a, a tablespoon. I said a teaspoon. Does that look like a teaspoon to you? I think we got enough. We want the spooter webs back in there, don't we? Okay, well now if we pour all the water in there, it should be fine. Well, I got my Braxer balls when we did what's inside of our uh, Braxer four pack, mega pack. Why not put one in here? I think it'll fit. Oh man, it's on the... <laughs> I'll just put one in there, okay? It seemed to like go through the first three or fourth layer of threads, but the last one, it just seemed to like wanna... So I don't wanna destroy that. Oh, and then we gotta fill it up with water, okay? Okay, let's take this off. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't see and it's totally overflowing. Okay, I'm gonna have to pour some out and twist that on. And then that should expand our Orbeez. But when we squeeze it in an hour, the Orbeez should be bigger. And look, there's my little uh, Braxer ball right there. That's cool. I like it. Okay, let's go ahead and visit this back in an hour. 
Okay guys, so in full disclosure, I had to empty this thing a couple of times and fill it up with more water to get the Orbeez that we wanted. Look at that. Now it looks goo. That is so cool. I mean, it's just a plethora of stuff in there. You got your spider webs, you got your Orbeez, and don't forget, I dropped one green Braxer ball in here. I'm not gonna do any editing either. If it takes all night, I feel something. See, this is what made Gujitsu so fun is when you could like feel something that's just off one little treat and there it is, look at that. That's cool. And I really like these because the skins seem thinner, which I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Well, it is to see what's inside, but a bad thing, it's gonna wear out faster. So guys, what do you think of making your own goos? Not only that, but you can like juggle these things. Like and subscribe. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. I, I thought I was really gonna hit the camera. Hold on. Like and subscribe. Oh, I'm just not a good shot. It's payback camera, Mom. <laughs> Ready? Catch. Well, that stuck to me. It's really fun to play toss the pig skin or toss the goose skin. Hey, better, better. Oh, dang. Oh, she was ready to whip that at me. Camera Mom, you so bad. <laughs> I was doing good. <laughs> Ready? You mark this. Yes, go. go. Ah! I'll carry the camera too. So. Excuses, camera mom. I think these are super fun, guys, because if you try to play toss the pig with these guys, I mean, it's okay, but this is a ball, man. I ought to take a bat to it. I'm so tempted. Pitch it to me, camera mom. Okay, in the consideration of time, I didn't want to go out to the garage and get a bat, so <laughs> we got mini. <laughs> Oh, there's the thing. You pull that out and then you push it and look how she lights up. I just want to smack that thing. Of course, hold on. Let me test the integrity of this. That could really smack. I don't know. <laughs> okay, the Hulk. Ooh, I don't think Minnie's got much in her left. Ooh. Oh, she's for Minnie. Like and subscribe. Woo! Minnie, you're the winnie. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.